Hey everybody, it's Chris with Longevity, brought to you by DNC Properties, and tonight, <clears throat> on an episode, it is Friday night, tick-tocking into the Saturday early mornings, had a long day of work yesterday, um, got some really, really good done on a project I'm working on, had to fire somebody, <laughs> um, uh, welcome to my business, good work is hard to find these days, guys, um, I just wanted to touch base with you on a few different uh, new tools I picked up. Uh, we'll do some really, really good reviews on those tools here within the next few days. So, let's jump right into it. Um, I was definitely shopping around. <clears throat> um, I was trying to decide, and um, I, I'm kind of jumping into the Makita lineup a little bit, and, um, I was uh, really wondering what my next uh, tool would be, and it is the new Milwaukee um, XFD11 brushless drill. Uh, this tool is super awesome. Um, it's lightweight, it's compact, it, it packs a punch. I love this thing, guys. This thing is just top notch. It's top of the line. It's top, top quality. Um, it really is just a good drill, guys. And um, this is the XFD11 again. This is the subcompact Makita series. So I know I went over last time my XR model for DeWalt. And I just kind of wanted to compare. This is not... They also make another one that's like this, which is their hammer drill version, uh, which I think I will do another video on that one as well, once we get to that point. So with further ado, I had to bring in its predecessor, which is a DeWalt, but this is a 12 volt tool. And I really just wanted to compare the size of what you're getting. Um, the one thing I, you know, this is very compact. As a matter of fact, it, this is actually smaller, but because this is a towable tool, the battery system is actually, it's, it's, it's smaller. So it, it's not as heavy. So this is definitely, you know, as far as in the hand, doing cabinets, any kind of small light work, the fatigue on your arm is gonna be a lot less as opposed to this. Don't get me wrong. This thing is very, very light. It's very compact. Um, I've got a three amp hour battery on here right now, but I mean, you, you go ahead and you toss a, a, a two amp on here. I mean, this thing is gonna be lightweight. So um, if you're looking in the market to jump into a subcompact series and you're looking for something that's top notch, top quality, guys, I mean, the statistics alone, it's got 1,700, um, what, what do they call that? It's, yeah, 1,700 RPMs per minute, and then it's um, 500, what is it OPMs or, um, I don't know, NOs, whatever, NO. I do, <laughs> one, thing, one thing I need to do is look up what that means, guys, I really don't know. Um, I'm assuming that's the um, the speed of the chuck that it moves in, um, but it's brushless, so it's definitely the longevity of the tool is going to last forever. You don't really have to worry about the brushes uh, wearing out. One thing that I am kind of, I'm really, actually, I don't really have many left. I do still have some brush tools because I am a firm believer that brush tools are still good. They don't last as long as brushless tools, but you can get some pretty good timing out of brush tools, guys. I still have a ton of them. They're still powerful. They still work. They're still great, which is a good thing because brushless tools for a price point, sometimes you can get a better deal with brushless, with brush tools. Um, so if, you, if you're not having the extra funds in the pocket to expand out 
and obtain brushless tools, which you can find great deals, guys. It's November. It's pre-Black Friday. You best believe you can find awesome deals at Home Depot. I do not shop at Lowe's, but for 12-volt tools only. That is the only reason why I step foot in a Lowe's store, uh, to buy certain DeWalt products that Home Depot just doesn't carry. Other than that, guys, um, I've been very disappointed in Lowe's, and they definitely have lost the majority of my business, I'm, which is a shame because I spend a lot of money every week as opposed to a lot of people probably been through the same problems I've had with Lowe's. Their customer service is terrible, let alone you can never find anybody in the store. Uh, but I do have a store. I used to work at Lowe's probably eight years ago, and I still go to that store because I have friends and people that I know that still work there, which is makes my experience much better. That's the only Lowe's I'll step foot. I would drive 40 minutes away just to go to that Lowe's because I know I'm going to get treated well. So that's very, very important to me, guys. Um, but other than that, um, I mean, guys, this is just a, a great tool. Um, on the column here, I don't know if you can see that, it's got 20 different settings on the actual, um, on the column itself. So 20 different settings plus your drill setting. So depending what you're going to be doing, um, if you're drilling any paddle bits, large drill bits through wood. Um, I use this thing for doing drywall fasteners because it's so lightweight, it's simple, it's easy. So, and um, let's be realistic, the black, the all black Makita just looks, it's slick, it's clean, I like it. Um, so anyways guys, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping in, I'm, I'm really kind of growing my uh, Makita lineup um, on the subcompact lineup. So. Um, I think I'm going to have to pick up the circular saw next because I do carry the, uh, so, you know, I've got the, the, the combo kit here. Great kit, great tools, awesome, powerful, uh, worth every penny. So, um, with further ado, I just, I just want to say that I, I really am falling kind of in love with Makita just a wee bit. As you can see, I don't have all my tools here, guys, but I definitely am a Ryobi and definitely a DeWalt fan. 100%, I will always be a loyal customer to them um, because I've started my business with Ryobi and DeWalt, and I am a firm believer if you have to have two platforms. Um, even if it's DeWalt, if you have two of the same whatever, Okay, you can have Ryobi, Ryobi, DeWalt, DeWalt, uh, but why not use two different style platforms? Then maybe if you want to branch out, you can pick up a couple here and there, Makita, Milwaukee, whatever you decide, whatever floats your boat. But for me, I always talk about Ryobi as, people always say Ryobi is a DIY type tool. I use DeWalt, I use Ryobi tools every single day of my work. Life, I use the wall tools every day, and I've never ever had a Ryobi tool fail on me ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. Matter of fact, I had one tool fail on me, I took it to Home Depot, they gave me a new one. So I do stand by Ryobi because their their product is a Home Depot product, so they are gonna take care of you a lot easier as a predecessor like Makita or DeWalt or something like that because that's their brand. They, they're they gonna actually take care of you better with the Ryobi products as opposed to somebody else, guys. And I would like people to respect Ryobi because I do this work every day and the tools are freaking awesome. I love it, they're great. So, but if you're looking to jump into some subcompact, a little new, um, Makita's lineup is fantastic, guys. I'm not saying anything bad, you know? Um, like, for instance, Ryobi, okay? Brushless impact, probably one of the best impacts I've ever used on the market, okay? It's a little bigger, but this thing is so powerful. 
This thing will get the job done. It will drive any fastener, it will drive tap guns, it will drive paddle bits, it will do work. You just have to put your trust in it, guys, because their brushless tools are just as expensive. This tool alone is $100. You can get, matter of fact, let me just, I'll, I'll give you a point. This tool, the bare tool only, is 100 bucks, okay? Or right now, Home Depot special for Black Friday, you can buy a two, uh, two, three, a bar bass from 49, you can get a brushless impact for free. You can get this kit at Home Depot. Comes with this impact driver, um, a three amp hour battery for $99. Now, let's be realistic. That is a pretty damn good deal. Um, so, hey, save your pennies, save your quarters, save your dimes, save your nickels, save every dollar you can. And get out to the stores, pre buy Friday sales, get them, stock up, man. If it's not for your DIY or whatever, you gotta have tools, you gotta have tools. Save your money, do stuff yourself, or call a professional, get a great deal. Um, everybody wants to do something to their house, right? You gotta stay up to par with the market, uh, with the trends. You have to be up to date if you wanna get top dollar for your home. Stop living in the past. If you don't have the money to hire somebody, spend a little money and get some tools yourself and do it yourself. Your DIYers, do it yourself. Or call a professional and we'll get you squared away. Anyways, guys. My name is Chris. I'm with Longevity. It's brought to you by DNC Properties. I want to give a shout out to VCG Gang. Uh, very cool getting over at VCG Events. Um, the boys over there, you guys are rocking, doing your thing. Ryobi Mancaver, he's a burst. Um, I love watching his videos. If you don't watch his videos, guys, um, uh, uh, you can look at the subscribers' description. He subscribed to my channel. Um, Watch his videos, they're awesome, and I definitely support his channel when he does for Ryobi. He is like one of the, I have to catch him, because he's like the king of Ryobi. Uh, making, uh, making and breaking stuff um, with Al, shout out to him, I love watching his videos, man, keep them coming, buddy. And, um, and hey, if you're new to my channel, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, help me promote my business um, by longevity. I'm trying to get my clothing line launched and trying to get pushed into Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, that would be the only reason why I go back to Lowe's is for business purposes only. Um, to get my, my clothing line out there, guys. It's been a long time coming. It's been about nine months. So it's time to start rolling hard into this, this new year. This year is almost over. 2019 is about to end. We are rolling into 2020, guys. So let's get excited. Let's get pumped up, man. Let's get ready for these great deals for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Let's have a great rest of our year. Let's make some money. Um, get motivated. Anybody that's out there that's in this field too, um, grind, man. Build that relationship with your customers. Promote your business. And whether that's here on YouTube or Facebook, market, but whatever you got to do, market your business. Start getting customers. It is the busiest time of the year is now. Especially if you're in my world, Southwest Florida, um, we got this thing called snowbirds. They're all up here from up north. Okay, the population quadruples within a matter of weeks. Okay, so um, get out there, make it happen, bust your tail, um, keep adding tools. A wise man once told me, every time you get a new job, add a new tool to your repertoire because you never know what job is going to come next. And always be prepared to have exactly what you need to complete the job. All right, so you heard it from me, guys. Again, hey, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, please. Help me market my channel. Um, again, my name is Chris from Longevity, and that's brought to you by DNC Properties. And we'll see you next time. Have a nice day.